We uh, uh, Barbara Oval, South J Street. I'm going to say something I said a number of years ago, and it holds so true tonight. Where the tropics, lake work for the tropics begin, and the discussion never ends. Because we have discussed this blessed topic out the ass. We went, I'm sorry, that's sucking bad language. We have done some crazy stuff. I have watched it be discussed a million times. We all agree we need the beach. Everybody has said here there's no way we're ever going to sell the beach. So let's stop alluding to the fact that someone's going to sell the beach or maybe it will happen. And I want it for this person. You know, we really have to make it a reasonable space. I do weddings for a living. I'm a wedding florist. Had been for a couple of years. I turned in full time. Done 43 weddings since January 1st. I can tell you that that space is unusable for any wedding I do. I was the same just today, you know, doing the planning for a wedding, like even at small venues that we do. That is not a reasonable space. It can be re reworked with the upstairs, and if some vendor is willing to come and do that and make that usable, it has the view that we could sell it. I've had brides come to do small weddings and gone with planners, and they're like, "You don't even bring us back here. Don't bring us back here. No place for the bride to change. No thing, you know, no place for the first look. No place for vendors to set up. The, the electric in the kitchen is horrible, and it exists from." Uh, extension cords. There was never a hot water heater put in in that construction, so there was no hot water in the kitchen available. So, I mean, the list goes on and on. As my husband is an electrician was up there when we did a function for the centennial and nearly had a stroke when I hit my head on the extension cord hanging from the ceiling so we could plug something in. So, you know, we have, we did a bad job. Whatever happened, that did not, that did not work out. God bless the commercial space. I hope they all are doing well. Benny's, God love you. You are doing a bang up job with yes. Benny's. And make a substantial change to make that second floor work at all. And a, the parking structure in Miami Beach that was discussed in the post for West Palm this week. It's an amazing three story or four story structure down on the beach with the most amazing event structure upstairs. They show movies. We've done weddings. It's amazing. It's protected from the rain, but open to the air. That would be an amazing. The parking lot, the lower parking lot, would be an amazing place to put an event space like that. You want to be a regional destination. We want to continue to make this jewel shine like we should have been doing for the last God knows how many years. I was at the grand opening in the pool and heard the mayor that day speak about redoing the beach building because back then it was already a piece of crap in the early 70s when the pool opened. And here I am at 57 years old still talking about the beach. Like, please, if we're going to do something about bringing commercial, let's do a reasonable project that benefits everybody. The access is there. The space is limited. Please, let's move forward. We have the electric to worry about. We have code enforcement to worry about. Don't let poking the beach get in the way of everything else.